No blood of God, Divine Pisces 222. It is Wednesday, April 1st. It is April Fool's Day. Yay! But, you know, this journey is no joke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two energy check in for the Twin Flames today. And, uh, I mean, yeah. I definitely feel, especially right now, Divine Feminine is really, really understanding her own worth right now okay and embracing it um trying to figure out how to close some cycles but being grateful for the things that she has and being grateful for the things that she has learned and believe it or not divine masculine is very grateful for divine feminine for doing her work because it's helping him to close out the cycles that he needs to close out to deal with the things that he needs to deal with okay now, I am, I am getting, you know, the ending of cycles, definitely, I'm getting um, possibly divorce, um, things like that are kind of coming in with this card. Um, also, it could be some sort of legal matter, so, you know, whether that be paying a debt to society, you know, which could be a manifestation of a karmic debt, you know, that sort of thing coming in. But it could also mean movement, you know, people actually moving, physically moving, buying a new home, selling a home, what have you. But I definitely feel, just in general, a lot of you have been in your heads about the ending of these cycles. You've been trying to control the ending of these cycles. And now it's just more like, okay, well, I can't really control it, so I'm just going to release it. I'm just going to let it happen, right? And that's exactly what you need to do. Okay, so a lot of you kind of coming out of your head, coming out of this contemplation and just saying, you know what? It is what it is. I accept it as it is. Um... You know, I'm moving on from it, but at the same time, it's like, well, I know there's a decision that I need to make, specifically having to do with the connection, but it could also have to do with a karmic situation. Maybe you're in a karmic relationship, okay? So I definitely feel endings coming for karmic relationships in general, okay? It could be romantic in nature, it could be anything really, but this specifically is highlighting uh, karmic relationships as a romantic matter, okay? And I feel like a lot of a lot of you are concerned about this, but again, you're kind of releasing it, releasing control, or at least trying to, and dealing with it as it is, okay, which is good. It's exactly what you need to do, <laughs> okay? So let's take a look at Divine Masculine. See what's going on. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, karmic cycle being recognized right now. Karmic cycle coming to a close. Understanding the uneven exchange that has been existing for a hot minute. Okay? So, Divine Masculine, again, being forced to recognize the situation here. Okay? And they are recognizing it for what it is. An uneven exchange or a karmic cycle that is coming to a close. Okay? Doesn't want to juggle it anymore. Doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Doesn't want to have to force himself to be happy in a situation where he's not happy, so he's making a decision. Energetically, maybe. Maybe it's just energetically right now, but some of them are moving forward. Some of them are wanting to cut this away. Some of them are wanting to move into a better direction and move forward in their truth, okay? They haven't been living their truth, okay? So they're being forced to recognize that where they are right now is not stable, right? They're coming into awakening. They're coming into themselves. They are um ascending they are recognizing that the things that they need to cut away are you know no longer serving them they are no longer in resonance resonance with them okay and they're being forced to recognize this so they don't want to do the right thing for the wrong reasons anymore they want to do the right thing for themselves they want to do the right thing because it's the right thing for their highest good right so again <laughs> A lot of Divine Masculine is being forced to recognize this stuff, okay? And it's very, very painful to them. They are understanding they can no longer rebuild this tower because the foundation is unstable. It is not integrity. There, it, there is no integrity in this foundation. There is nothing to rebuild. It's a house of cards, guys. It's a house of cards, and they know that. And they know there's nothing that they can do about it. So what are they doing? They're releasing it. They're releasing it. Okay, they're recognizing the codependency for what it is, you know, thinking that, oh, okay, well, this is where I needed to be because this is my responsibility. But now they're like, oh, no, no, 
no, I can't do that. Now, I'm not sure how to get out of this, you know, but I know that I don't want to be here. I know this is codependent in nature, right? But I'm not really quite sure what to do about it. Okay, so again, Divine Masculine energetically making the decision, but some of them physically are not able to, you know, or at least feel like they're not able to, um, or at least they're trying to make, they're trying to leave their situations without making waves okay so same old story really nothing's really changed as far as that goes you know divine masculine still recognizing a situation for what it is and still sitting there going i don't know what to do i don't know what to do so what does that mean it means divine feminine somewhere you need to step up okay i know it kind of, it kind of sucks being the leader all the time right yeah so divine feminine yeah divine feminine <laughs> My feminine also feeling defeated by non-action here. Okay? Now, it could be non-action on divine, divine Masculine side, but you know what, Divine Feminine? If Divine Masculine is not moving, where are you not moving? Where are you not sure what to do? Where are you not understanding what you need to do next here? Okay? Right? So some of you, again, are also in situations that are not fulfilling whatsoever, and you know that, and yet you're still there, right? You're hiding your emotions, you're hiding your emotions, but you're trying to be strong about it. Some of you are being, again, pushed towards a purge, okay? And you may be doing that, and this may be manifesting in a physical way. You may actually literally be purging things out of your home. You may be get rid of, getting rid of things that no longer serve you physically, okay? Um, but remember, it's inside-out work, okay? So so if there's something you need to purge or something you've been holding in, you need to release it. Don't, let, don't sit there and let it fester, okay? Because all that's going to do is keep you stuck. It's going to keep you stuck, okay? Um, yeah. So Divine Feminine... <laughs> Divine Feminine, stop playing games with your abundance here, okay? Some of you are self-sabotaging. Some of you are so afraid of your own abundance. You're so afraid that you might be successful. It's like you're afraid of the things that come with it. You're afraid of ridicule. You're afraid of people being jealous. You're afraid of people sabotaging you. Maybe you're afraid of what other people think of you. Maybe you think people will hate you if you're successful. Get out of that. Stop sabotaging yourself. Okay? Stop sabotaging yourself. Get out of your head about it. Because all this is doing is keeping you from manifesting that new beginning for yourself. Manifesting your, your fulfillment. Okay? Staying stuck in your head. Staying in this situation. Hiding your emotions. All that's doing is keeping you stuck. Okay, so again, Divine Masculine is stuck. Well, Divine Feminine, where are you stuck? Where are you stuck? Right? And I feel some anxiety definitely coming in for Divine Feminine, but I feel like it's more of a... Not just necessarily that you're losing control, but it's just like... Yeah, you're, you're, you're not sure what to do. You're not sure what to do, and it's making you anxious. Okay? Reach out to Source. Reach out to your spirit team. Ask them for help. Ask them for guidance. They will help you. You just need to make sure you pay attention to the signs. Okay? Like, um, the universe isn't going to magically fix something for you. I mean, you might get a download. You might get an epiphany or something like that. But usually, you have to play connect the dots, right? You see a sign that leads to another sign that leads to another sign that leads to your answer. <laughs> right? It's literally like going down the rabbit hole. It's exactly what it is. Okay, how appropriate that I used Alice in Wonderland um, tarot cards today, so. Alright, <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the connections. Don't freak out, guys, I just have allergies, bad. Okay, so, okay, so right now, <laughs> I feel like the mantra for Divine Feminine has returned. Patience, 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 okay? You need to have patience while you balance yourself out. And we actually have a new moon in, um, I'm sorry, a full moon in Libra coming up soon. So the perfect time to balance your energy, all right? Um, but you need to have patience with your own healing. You need to have patience with while you balance out. You need to have patience while Divine Masculine heals and balances out, okay? So I almost feel like some of this anxiety that's coming in for Divine Feminine is you know, again, kind of, I feel like some of you are starting to feel Divine Masculine's energy again, 
maybe you hadn't felt it in a while and you're starting to feel it again and it's frustrating you, right? Because it's like, well, why are you reaching out to me for help when whenever I try to help you, you don't do anything for yourself, right? Right? So I feel some frustration coming in for Divine Feminine right now towards Divine Masculine and you need to release that, okay? Because there's a codependency here within the connection that needs to be released. Now, the codependency on Divine Masculine side is he's been codependent on Divine Feminine doing his healing for him. Divine Feminine's not doing that anymore. Most of you aren't. And Divine Feminine is, you know, codependent on, on Divine Masculine's energy and feeling their energy, right? Um, and some of you haven't been feeling that energy for a while because you've already ascended. You've already kind of gone up a level and Divine Masculine's still down here trying to catch up, okay? Um, but there's a codependency here, yeah, that definitely needs to be released within the connection, okay? Some of you are so frustrated right now because things just seem to be taking too long. But remember, there is no time. Time does not exist. Time is a man-made construct. Right? But because there's there's all of this happening here, this codependency, some of you refusing to release, or maybe you're not even recognizing it to be released, there is a tower coming. There might be towers happening around you right now. Again, the whole, the whole world's kind of going through a tower right now. Okay, the tower card just seems to keep coming up. All right? So some of you are praying for towers. Some of you have been praying for tower, and boom, here it is. It's right here in your face. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> right? But some of you are just like, oh, no, that's not the tower I wanted. Oh, gosh, now I got to deal with this. Look at these nines, man. You got nine of swords and, and nine of wands, okay? So ending of cycles, guys. Right? And it's making you anxious. But that's what the tower's for. The tower is here to help you. The tower is here to help you end that cycle. Okay? End the cycle of deception. End the cycle of defeat. End the cycle of non-action. End the cycle of codependency, okay? It's pushing you forward. It's pushing you to release your burdens. Release the fear. Release the frustration purge purge it acknowledge why and acknowledge what you're feeling acknowledge what you're feeling don't deny what you're feeling acknowledge you say okay you know what yeah i am feeling frustrated and here's why just acknowledge it guys acknowledge it and move on don't sit there and hold on to it okay it's just going to keep you stuck it's going to delay the process just in general, not even just in, not even just with your connection, it's going to delay your path because you're sitting there going, I don't feel this way, blah, 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 denying everything, right? And you're not healing it. <laughs> denying is not healing, right? Denying is not healing. Okay. In a way, denying is waiting, if you think about it that way. Because it's like you're sitting there denying it, thinking it's going to go away. So you're sitting there denying, 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 waiting for it to go away. Right? So you're waiting. Yeah. All right. So let's get some messages from the counterparts. I feel like the, the telepathy is coming back. Some of you might have had a break from that for a while, again, because you're not in resonance. But I feel like the telepathy is coming back and Divine Creepy Pants is back. Yeah. And this could be in the 5D, it could be in the 3D. Always mirroring, always mirroring. Yeah. Some of you are scared. Some of you are scared. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Wake up. It's time. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. This was on the bottom of the deck, too, which is appropriate. All right. All right. Let's get some advice from source. <laughs> it's not. It's not really funny. I'm just laughing because hey, what else can you do? Um. Yeah. And this I've been feeling for a while, guys. The, the shifting energies. It's been crazy. Like, the energy's just been shifting. It's been going back and forth and back and forth. And actually, Soul Mission mentioned the other day, and, and he's right, because I was wondering why the energies have been so weird, have been just wonky, right? And he was like, oh, yeah, we're shifting timelines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Timelines are merging right now, okay? And I know I mentioned this before a while back, and I think I touched on it in the last video, how, like, the different sub-soul group or this different sub-collectors are coming together in one soul group, we're also merging timelines right now, okay? Um, 
So the energies are just shifting right now. Everything's just kind of merging into one giant cluster duck. <laughs> right? Right? So believe in that because it's true. Believe in your dreams. Some of you just need to believe in yourselves. Some of you do not believe in yourselves enough. You just don't. Right? But yeah, cycles are ending, guys. And this, these have been some tough cycles. This this year, it's, we're only in, in April, but this year has been ridiculous with the ending of cycles. Like tower after tower after tower, you know, forcing you to deal with stuff, right? And so it's a time for healing, okay? So don't be impatient with the healing. Don't be impatient with your, your counterparts healing. They have a process they have to go through. It's already written. They have to do it, okay? But just have faith in yourself. Have faith that everything's going to work out because it is working out the way that it should. And again, this is this is this card has come out so many times in the last week. Expect powerful change because it's happening. It's happening now. It's happening now. Okay? Everything that's happening is happening for a reason. All right? So just take it as it comes, one day at a time, right? <laughs> I know, I think there's a shirt that says that. One day at a time? Yeah. I mean, isn't that a saying or something? Yeah, whatever. One day at a time. All right, guys, I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.